One of the reasons you probably purchased the Bernina 880 is for the Bernina Stitch Regulator, sometimes noted as a BSR, Bernina Stitch Regulator. I am a fan of this tool. I'm gonna to show you some tricks about putting it on, how to get it set up, and things that you can do with it. So I haven't always been a free motion quilter, but over the last handful of years, I have taken the time to master my own free motion quilting skills, and you do see see them on my Bernina Stitching Cosmos online course quilt. I love to embellish every block individually. That's just me. Um, we have links below to some of our Craftsy classes that we recommend for free motion quilting. There's some amazing instructors that will help you really expand, you know, past just stippling. And that's kind of where I was. I was just kind of, that's all I did was just stipple. And that was boring. So as you can see, we can take quilt to a whole new level and with the help of the Bernina stitch regulator because it regulated all my stitches it made me look good from the beginning now we were just doing a video on using the embroidery foot foot number 26 that comes in your embroidery module box for just regular free motion quilting uh, without any regulation uh, uh, as added. Um, one thing we were talking about and I highly recommend is that you use your straight stitch throw plate. You will find you'll get a better crisper stitch with that. Um, so if you are free motion quilting, switch it from nine millimeter to zero, zero millimeters and then you don't necessarily pick the foot so much as when you plug in this foot, it will automatically switch you over to the Bernina Stitch Regulator foot screen. Now, I did mention that if you do your straight stitch throw plate, you'll get a better stitch. Well, keep in mind, you can use a zigzag stitch. Obviously, you'll need your nine millimeter throat plate on and you can also free motion quilt with a twin needle. So those would be two times where I would make sure that I had the nine millimeter wide stitch throat plate on instead of the single hole one. It just wouldn't let you do those features. Also, as soon as I picked the foot that would free motion quilt, the feed dogs are automatically going to turn yellow, which means they're automatically lowered. So you don't have to go looking for lowering the feed dogs, which a lot of people will make sure or tell you that you need to do. So this machine's smart. You probably also bought it because you're loving the space in this opening, making it mach machine quilting very, very easy for you to jump into. The last tip that I do recommend is that if you have any ability to put your machine in a sewing cabinet, when you free motion quilt, gravity is an issue. Yes, there's this great table, but as soon as it goes off the edge, gravity is not our friend. And yet, if you had the machine in a flush work surface, there's never a point where you are gonna have gravity near the needle. Now, you might have it at the back of the table or off to the side, that's not hard to kind of control you can always keep the quilt on the work surface so i was telling somebody earlier when asked would i rather have a sewing cabinet or a serger because that was somebody's next purchase and i went "Ooh, i would really love i would really hate missing out on a serger but i would take a sewing cabinet over a serger any day and that's because of the quilting abilities and not being and having to fight against gravity okay so let's open up this box and see what comes with this Bernina stitch regulator. So when you start to go into the box, you are gonna notice that there is a foot with a pigtail. And on the other end of that pigtail is a place you'll be plugging in to the back of your machine. And there's actually two additional feet in with the box. So the foot that comes with it would be what I would call a standard uh, free motion quilting foot, and it is closed. Now there is one that is actually open. So you can kind of see where you're going. So let's just talk real quick of how to switch feet out. So I do recommend that you switch the feet out when the foot is not on the machine. If it's on the machine, it's very difficult. It's not fun at all. But all you have to do is squeeze the white buttons on either side of the foot and then pull the foot down. You can kind of see there's a little trough for that foot to come out and it also clicks back in 
just as easy. So yes, I most of the time I switch over to that open toe foot, but for today I am gonna leave this regular one on. And the time to use that regular one on is when, if you have a lot of safety pins in your quilt, uh, an open toe foot can actually catch, those little toes could catch on a safety pin. That's not good at all. You also have one additional foot, and it's kind of like a saucer, uh, but it would assist for doing any free motion echoing that you might want to do. You'll notice that there's actually kind of ridges and lines for you to be at certain distances away from, say, an applique or such. Now, I have seen people, as you can kind of see, it's really, well, it's clear. I have seen people take Sharpies and actually draw in the lines for easier guidance and visibility on that foot. So just a little FYI on that one. So let's go ahead and take the foot and put it on the machine. So I'm gonna take off my foot 26, and then you'll notice that as you position this foot to go on, you might feel like it's going on at an angle, but as soon as you line up the needle to be pretty much going down the hole of the foot, you'll find that everything will hook together in place. Make sure you don't have your dual feed down. The machine shouldn't let you stitch with it down, but it would be in the way if you were trying to put this foot on with that still engaged. Now, if you peek around the backside of your machine, there's only one place for this to attach. There is a picture of the BSR Bernina stitch regulator that you're gonna go ahead and push it into that opening. When you actually push it all the way in, you're gonna notice your screen will immediately change to an a screen you haven't been able to get to until right now. You notice foot number 42, that is the Bernina stitch regulator foot number, comes up immediately. You have a different look to it. You have BSR showing right here. And yes, you do have that option for a zigzag. Uh, unless your straight stitch throat plate is on, then no, you can't do zigzag. The other thing that we have are two different modes for using this foot. And so I'm gonna show you each one. If the one is kind of indented and grayed, that's the one you've selected. I'm gonna actually start with number two. And if you are a new user to this particular foot, this is where I want you to start. If you were to try out this machine at our store, this is how we set it up for you to try out what a stitch regulator is. It usually is something that people are not familiar with, but once they stitch with it for a few minutes, they are in love. To use the mode two, you're gonna be using the green button to be your start and stop. So once you actually push it, it's gonna go ahead and lower the presser foot and we're looking for a red light to shine down on the fabric. Let's go ahead and touch and hold it until it actually takes a stitch. Now see the red lights kind of glowing underneath the foot? As soon as the fabric starts to move, then it stitches. Now, this is not the time to put your finger down in near that foot, but I am gonna just kind of slide that little tail out of the way. As the red light is still on, it's ready to stitch. Now, you did notice the light went off because I had waited, I think it's about seven seconds. And once you have not moved the fabric for seven seconds, then it will turn the light off and notice the needle is actually up. So it doesn't, it doesn't get you <laughs> accidentally. So I'm gonna show you to how to reactivate it, touch and hold the green light until it takes a stitch and that red light is back. So this also takes a little practice because as you move it, you will feel like the machine is going faster. If you move it faster, it's going to stitch faster. So what is it actually doing? Let's go ahead and pause, touch that same button. It will sink the needle back down into the fabric and then put it back to a green light, meaning it's ready for you to then use. As you look at your screen, you are noticing that the default setting for stitch length is two millimeters long. So you have complete control over how long that stitch is. If you'd like it a little longer, just go ahead and change it. It will go as high as four and as low as one. One's really small, but uh, there's a time and place for a shorter stitch length. 
thinner thread and much tighter uh, patterns that are going to overlap or be very close together. That's when I use a shorter stitch length. I love embroidery thread also with my machine quilting. I just love how smooth it is. I have all the colors and um, it works really good for machine quilting. Uh, so stitch length is fully controlled with your, your knobs. And then once you start to stitch, you'll notice your stitch length is a little bit longer. Now I mentioned there's two ways to do free motion quilting. You'll find that our mode two that we're, we're in now, you touch and you quilt and you touch and you touch and you quilt and you touch to turn it off and on. So mode one, we'll be using the foot control. So as we move the foot, as we hold the foot control down, you'll notice that the needle will start to go up and down. And then as we move our fabric, that's when it stitches. And as soon as we stop sewing, the, immediately the needle stops in the fabric and you saw that the light turned off. So if you want light on, step on your foot control. And here's the trick. It doesn't matter how hard you step on the foot control. You just need to have it. It's either on or off. It's either, so you can have it pressed down full fledged um, all the way to the base um, and it'll be on or you can just even just push on just a little bit and then let up to turn it off. It's how fast you're moving your hands is going to be how fast the machine stitches and how often it stitches. Because that sensor, the red mark, is actually sensing how fast the fabric is moving underneath that. It's almost like an optical eye. Well, it is an optical eye, like what you have for a computer mouse. So as that mouse moves really quick across your screen, because you went really far and fast, that's what's tracking how and where it actually went. So straight stitch allows you to uh, have any stitch length that you want. Let's switch it back to a nine millimeter wide throat plate. And you can also see where you can actually choose zigzag um, up to, I believe it goes up to, yep, the five and a half millimeter. You can actually adjust that and then also lengthen or shorten that particular option. So those are your stitches. Try out your two modes with your Bernina stitch regulator. And I wanna wish you a very wonderful quilting journey as you start to do things that you might never have done before. And if these tips have been helpful for you, make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel.